The Star Wars galaxy was entirely unaware that the Queen of Naboo Padmamadala had given birth prior to her death for a very sinister reason. The overwhelming majority of the citizens of the galaxy believed that Anakin Skywalker was a noble Jedi who was killed by the evil Darth Vader and that Padme was tragically killed in the crossfire during Order 66 and the resulting end of the Clone Wars. But no one ever suspected that Padme herself never attended her own funeral. In Revenge of the Sith, the galaxy was nearly destroyed by war, but the Jedi Order was virtually eliminated. Thanks to Order 66, the clones of the Grand Army of the Republic turned on their Jedi generals and exterminated them in mere minutes. Even with foresight offered to them via the Force, the Jedi were caught completely unawares, and so was the majority of the galaxy. This includes the many people who attended Padme's funeral, they never realized that the body of their former queen was in fact a hologram. Padme was never there to begin with. The revelation is unveiled in Darth Vader No. 10, written by Karen Gillan with art by Salvador La Roca, in which the fan-favorite character Dr. Afra finds and apprehends Commodex Tong, a mortician who ostensibly prepared the queen's body for burial. Under excruciating torture from the protocol droid triple zero, Tan admits a dark secret, the Padme witnessed at the funeral was actually a hologram who appeared to be pregnant. This means that Darth Vader and everyone else believes her unborn children died with her. But the mortician reveals another secret, Amidala gave birth to a son shortly before she died. Shortly after learning the information, Afra orders Triple Zero to finish his work and the droid tortures the mortician to death. Despite undergoing torture, Tan never revealed that Amidala had two children, not one thus hiding Leia's existence from the world and from Vader. It is a very dark way to keep a secret which involved a hologram, a, presumably, secret burial, and the death of Amidala's loyal servant. Nevertheless, it seems to have worked, Darth Vader only learns of Leia's existence at the climax of Return of the Jedi, and even then, only after reading Luke Skywalker's mind during their lightsaber duel. Dr. Afra switches allegiances multiple times in short order, she works for the Empire, then for Vader, and then is a free agent until a new friend comes along. But Tan the Mortician never switches allegiances even after 20 years of Imperial rule, and indeed is so loyal to Amidala that he takes her secret about Leia to the grave. In the Star Wars universe, where unscrupulous characters like Han Solo and Lando Calrissian can jettison their morals whenever they want, it is refreshing to know that someone kept the faith.